Hey, everybody out there in disc golf land. For Bangarang Discs, I'm your host, Marty P., and welcome to another edition of Shoot to Thrill. In the next five or six minutes, we're going to cover everything from feature and lead cards to player stats and results for each round. Lastly, we have a tournament growth report to illustrate the event's progress over the last few years. Before we begin, though, please take a moment to like and subscribe to support the channel. For our ninth episode, we're headed to the Portland Open in Glendevere Park and Tennis in Portland, Oregon for our second DGPT Plus event of the season. Day 1's feature card had last week's OTB winner in of us Kalman Heimberg, defending champion Discraft's Adam Hammes, tour leader Discmania's Gannon Burr, and Latitude 64's Linus Carlson. The results for Round 1 had Randon Lotta continuing his breakout performance from the OTB Open, tied for third. Lotta scored two turkeys starting on hole 7 and 11 and gained strokes against the field with birdies on 8 and 13. Randon would finish the day 7 under and 3 back with a round rating of 1056, 45 points above his average. Calvin Heiberg ended the day tied for third with Lotta. Calvin had a four bagger starting on four and finished the round seven under and three back with a rating of 1056, seven points above his average. Drew Gibson finished eighth and two back for solo second, scoring a four bagger starting on nine and gaining strokes with birdies on two and 16. Gibson ended the round with a 1063 rating, 41 points above his average. Gannon Burr had the hot round of the day at 10 under to finish at the top for day one. Burr scored a four-bagger starting on four and gained strokes against the field with an eagle on four. Gannon finished the day with a 1077 rating, 29 points above his average. Heading into day two, it was Dismania's Gannon Burr, Infinite Discs, Drew Gibson, Innovus Calvin Heimberg, and Innovus Randon Lada. For Gibson and Lada, it was the first lead card appearance this season. The results for round two had Isaac Robinson jumping 19 spots to finish fourth with an eight under performance and eight back. Robinson shot a bogey free round and scored a turkey starting on three and gained strokes against the field with birdies on eight and 11. Isaac finished the day with a round rating of 1061, 25 points above his average. Yuna Heinenen shot six under and seven back by playing bogey free and gained strokes with a birdie on 10. Heinenen finished the day with a 1047 rating, 24 points above his average. Drew Gibson remained in solo second with a 6 under performance that kept him 6 back from Burr. Gibson matched Burr's eagle on 4 and gained strokes with a birdie on 14. Drew finished with a 1047 rating, 22 points above his average. Gannon Burr played like a man possessed and scored his second hot round of the tournament going 10 under widening his lead to 6 strokes. Burr went 7-under on the front 9 with a 5-bagger starting on 3 and an eagle on 4. Gannon gained strokes with his birdies on 7 and 15 and finished with a 1075 rating, 27 points above his average. Day 3's lead card had Discmania's Gannon Burr, Infinite Discs, Drew Gibson, Innova's Yuna Heinenen, and Prodigy's Isaac Robinson all competing to make the cut on moving day. A reshuffling of the day's lead card was in order as Heimberg, Wysocki, and Radalan pushed through for a three-way tie of second place at 19 under and 10 back of Burr. Calvin Heimberg moved up three spots with an eight under performance, scoring an eagle on 18 and finishing the round with a 1056 rating, seven points above his average. Ricky Wysocki moved up seven spots, shooting a nine under, scoring a turkey on 14 and gaining a stroke with a birdie on eight. Wysocki finished with a 1056 rating, nine points above his average. Moving up 12 spots and scoring the hot round, Cole Rodallin played bogey free with a six bagger on two and gaining strokes with a birdie on two. Rodallin finished the day with a 1063 rating, 30 points above his average. Extending his lead to 10 strokes, Gannon Burr had a nine under performance and was in contention for the hot round save for his bogey on two. Burr scored a turkey starting on five and then blistered the back nine going seven under with a six bagger starting on 10 and gaining strokes with a birdie on 13. Gannon finished with a 1056 rating, eight points above his rating. The final day's lead card had Dismania's Gannon Burr in the pole position, DGA's Cole Rodallin, Dynamic Discs, Ricky Wysocki, and Innova's Calvin Heimberg all battling the elements for a podium on the cold and rainy day. Birdies are a premium in the rain, and the last day proved to be no different. Aaron Gossage jumped eight spots to tie for fourth, going six under and 12 back. Gossage played a bogey-free round, picking up birdies where he could. Aaron would finish the day with a 10.52 rating, 32 points above his average. 
His fourth place finish was his best finish since the Chess.com Invitational where he placed third. Although Ricky Wysocki dropped a spot for solo third shooting four under with an unfortunate double bogey on 18, Wysocki strung together a turkey starting on nine, gaining a stroke with a birdie on two and finished with a 1039 rating, eight points below his average. Ricky's third place finish was his best finish since getting second place at the Chess.com Invitation. Cole Dolan shot six under to capture solo second with eight birdies and two bogeys and gained a stroke with a birdie on 12. Verdalen finished the day with a rating of 1052, 19 points above his average for his best finish on the tour this season. Gannon Burr played well enough to retain the lead by eight strokes, getting a stroke with a birdie on 12. Burr finished with a 1039 rating, nine points below his average. Gannon has placed first in both DGPT Plus events this season. Although 2024 showed an increase of almost 2% in player participation, the purse ranked nearly 6% over last year. Despite the drop, the purse for the Portland Open is the largest purse so far this season. Still though, a drop of nearly 6% was unexpected and may be an indicator of future success. That's it for this episode. Stay tuned for our next episode when we cover the Beaver State Fling and Estacado, Oregon. Until then, I'm Marty P. with Bangarang Disc reminding you to smash that like button and subscribe. And have a great round.